I really don't know how to start this video because this has been a really, really tough week. And I mostly am making this because I don't want to just disappear off the face of the earth. I want you guys to know that like I'm still here and I'm still planning to make videos, but it's just been a hard week. For those of you who maybe don't know, my dad last year was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and um, we were extremely lucky because his case was really an outlier and he has actually lived over a year with the diagnosis of stage four pancreatic cancer. And for the most part, he's he's been in pain, but it's been a slow decline and that's kind of unheard of for pancreatic cancer especially. Um, but unfortunately, we are coming down to the wire here. Um, as this is being filmed, my dad is still here, but it is not gonna be long. And so I just have not really been in a headspace where I can talk about books so happily. I can barely even read them. Um, but I know that so many of you are so kind and I don't want to just completely abandon YouTube for a while without at least giving some kind of explanation. I will, <laughs> in order to make this about books a little, I will talk about a little bit what I've sort of been reading lately, but I gotta be honest, it's not been much. Um, I did start to read Rose Matter by Stephen King, which I am really enjoying, but it is like a big old thick book. So I have been traveling. First, I was down in Florida um, to see my dad and my mom, and I didn't bring it. And then I also am working now, so I'm on a trip and I didn't wanna bring it. So I am really liking that. It's about a woman who leaves an abusive marriage and she kind of tries to start over, but then her husband is tracking her down. And in addition, she, you know, is starting over this new life and she finds this painting in a thrift store and it just like speaks to her. And like, <laughs> she kind of sees herself as the woman in the painting, which is just cool. I'm only not even halfway through, probably just maybe 40%. And so haven't gotten too, too far yet, but I am really enjoying that. It's, it's very Stephen King, if you know it, you know, um, because there's just a lot of wordiness, which I certainly don't mind, but it's just, I don't think I've read like a Stephen King book in a little while. That's like felt like the old, I mean, it's from the nineties. It's not super, super old, but yeah. Lots of just like talking in circles, <laughs> but it's okay. I'm still enjoying it. I have also, I'm almost finished reading Worst Case Scenario by TJ Newman, which I am also enjoying. I definitely am not enjoying it as much as her previous books. It's definitely heavy on the, I don't want to say science, because I mean, it is science, but it's not like the silence. Science is what is so complicated. There's a lot about like nuclear energy, which... If you don't have any clue how it works like I did, highly recommend going and just reading up a little bit because I was so lost at the beginning of this book. I definitely needed some assistance from Google to even get me to a place where I could even attempt to understand what was happening. And um, there's also a lot of characters, which I don't think I normally have a problem with, I just can't, I can't keep them straight and that could be because of like brain fog, but I just feel like I haven't been able to really make a strong emotional bond with any of the characters because there are so many and they're all in like traumatic positions, you know. But I guess I should have started with what this is about. It's about an airplane where the first officer takes a bathroom break. So there is a flight attendant up in the cockpit with the captain and he has a heart attack and he... Um, is like slumped over and is like they go into like a nosedive and it is bad the the flight attendant up there can't get him out of the seat and because it goes into a nosedive the first officer in the uh, bathroom gets like knocked unconscious and it's really bad and they end up crashing into a nuclear power plant so not great worst case scenario you could say bad place to crash but they uh, and so then it's just like different different parts of this little town and like how they respond and kind of how they get back into like 
save the world essentially and again like i really like it but i feel like it could have been done a little bit I don't want to say better, but I just didn't feel like I really bonded with any characters. I really am close to finishing that. I think I have like maybe 15% left. So maybe finish it today. We'll see. <laughs> um, other than that, I've mainly been listening to slash reading books on grieving. So that's not really fun to talk about in any way. I do have a couple book clubs coming up so for my one book club we are reading sociopath which is like a memoir by a diagnosed sociopath so i don't honestly know anything about it past that but it seems really interesting and it might actually be a really good book to kind of just escape from my own brain <laughs> and then the other one is the bandit queens which i have had an arc of for like ever and i never actually read so i'm really hoping i can get that read by the time uh, book club comes on Thursday. Today is Saturday, but we'll see. I, I don't know. My brain's not really all there right now. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna post this video because it's just kind of a bummer, <laughs> but here we are. And uh, if you don't hear from me for a little while, I'm probably okay, just very, very sad. And I will try to at least check in so you know I'm still I'm still here going doing my thing. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do my usual like outro rigmarole because you probably didn't enjoy this video. So I mean if you're feeling generous, give it a thumbs up, I suppose. Um and uh yeah. Hopefully I'll I'll be back soon, but I just don't know and life goes on. Here we are. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.